Okay, uh, I want to go over something important. Um, I got to sent a, a comment from one of the largest YouTube uh, photographers, and uh, uh, what I've noticed is is that since you have well three or four of the largest uh, YouTube photography channels that are all under the same uh, incorrect assumption regarding a sensor size relative to gain, I really do need to go over this again. And it is unclear to a lot of people because everybody keeps espousing this same incorrect information um, about larger sensors gathering more light. And that's absolutely not true. So let's spell it out and make it really simple. I was sent a comment, and it's a very nice comment, uh, from one of the largest uh, YouTube uh, channels. And uh, in one of the video clips, it said that the uh, noise pattern was uh, cleaner on one camera uh, compared to a DX camera um, due to uh, the bigger sensor. Well, it doesn't work that way. Bigger sensors don't gather more light. I'm going to tell you in a second where this error comes from and how people misunderstood it. But let's get simply to the facts, okay? All exposure is gain in time. Time, of course, being shutter. Now, let's strictly stick to native gain for a second here, okay? Native gain is two things. Aperture, of course, and secondly, pixel pitch. But also we have to talk about the efficiency, the increasing and improving efficiency of native gain, not strictly the pixel pitch itself, of which there are charts and you can actually see. Like the Nikon D5, we have a 6.4 micrometer pixel pitch on the Nikon D5, on the new Nikon D500, a 4.2, D750, a 5.9, on uh, the older uh, Nikon D4S, it's rather large, it's 7.3, DF's the same thing, it's the exact same sensor, it's even larger still on the Nikon um, D3, which is, of course is an older camera, but uh, SNR firmware and signal processing and AD converter technology has greatly improved since 2008. But that's not native gain. That's applied gain. That's actually signal processing. Uh, not talking about ISO here, because ISO has nothing to do with sensitivity, has nothing to do with exposure, has nothing to do with light itself. It has to do with applied gain. Um, so let's ignore signal to noise uh, ratio and uh, signal processing right now. The D750 has a pixel pitch of 5.9 micrometers. Hold on a second, I'll make it really simple. Just bear with me for a second. 5.9 micrometer pixel pitch on the sensor. The sensor itself plays absolutely no role whatsoever in exposure. So the statement of the other channel, and this is just a simple error, we all make mistakes, that uh, you know the D750 has a cleaner noise pattern you know, compared to another camera due to the fact that it has a bigger sensor is absolutely incorrect. This is an invalid statement. Sensor side displays absolutely no role whatsoever in exposure. It does in field of view and the lens used and therefore the resultant compression of the image of uh, a lens and the field of view that's uh, either cropped or not cropped. But let's take a, a shot for example. Let's say this is from an Nikon D750 or a D810 or any full frame kind of sensor camera. If we were to take the exact same sensor and if we were able to cut out a 2 millimeter by 2 millimeter section I don't know, 10 millimeter by 10 millimeter, it doesn't make any difference. With the exact same pixel pitch, and we were to stick it in that camera, obviously it's going to be a lousy, tiny little cropped image. But, if the pixel pitch and everything remains the same, you're just cutting out a section of that sensor, while it'd be a tiny cropped worthless image, it would have the exact same gain and resultant exposure as the full frame sensor on the D750 that it was taken from. See, most uh, cleaner noise output in a DSLR is due to greatly improved AD converters. Now we're getting into signal processing instead of native gain here. Greatly improved uh, signal processing is processing in the AD converters and the in-camera signal-to-noise ratio uh, firmware, which has absolutely nothing to do with native gain or sensitivity or exposure, and certainly nothing to do with bigger or smaller sensors. It is true, however, I don't know if this is the case, that we do have improving, with specifically in regard the Nikon D500. We have improving micro lens technology. These are the actual lenses that sit over top of the photo sites of the sensor. The increasing efficiency or design or architecture, and this is native efficiency design improvements. 
Here's an efficiency improvement since we had a, a bare sensor back in the old days where incoming light would strike it or it wouldn't. We have our micro lenses and you can actually bring up Google images of, uh, of uh, microscopic images of these uh, photo, uh, these micro lenses that sit over top of the photo sites where the incoming light is actually directed like a real lens and they are real lenses into the photo site so we have better efficiency, better gain. Here you can see an example side by side of improved efficiency. Because everything has, uh, in uh, exposure, has everything to do with uh, gain and time. Gain is of two parts, aperture on your lens and the pixel pitch, and or also additionally the improving uh, native efficiency of the micro lens architecture design that sits over top of those photo sites. But bigger sensors do not gather more light. Now, where people are getting this misinformation from is from this article on Cambridge and Color. And I'll tell you why it's misunderstood here. It talks about exposure and buckets of water, but if you actually read it specifically, it says in photography the exposure settings of aperture, shutter speed, and ISO are analogous to width, and talking about a bucket analogy. But this is not referring to a sensor. This is talking about the photo sites. Obviously, larger photo sites have better exposure, better native gain over a period of time, but also improving micro lens technology and architecture also adds to that. It's like placing a more efficient funnel on top of uh, the bucket, if you will, as far as the micro lens analogy. So the statement that actually uh, I found within uh, this video uh, that uh, you know a D750 uh, has a, a cleaner noise pattern. Uh, due to a larger sensor is absolutely incorrect. Things don't work that way. Sensors do not gather more light. It's not like we're looking at a window here. We're talking about individual points of light. This is why bird photographers, for example, with $15,000 lenses are using $500 Nikon D7100s. So well, why wouldn't they use a a Nikon D810 or a D750 because they crop the hell out of their shots and there's more translational data per uh, square millimeter of the sensor on the D7100 than there is on the Nikon D810 or D750. See, at the exact same pixel pitch on the D7100, well I don't know if I have it listed here or not, it's uh, 3.9 micrometers by the way. Um, I don't see it listed here on this particular list, but it's three point. Here it is. It's the same as the D7200. 3.9 micrometers on the D7200. If this were scaled up, D7200, D7100 of the same sensor, it would be a 54 megapixel sensor. And this is why bird shooters and wildlife shooters are shooting uh, critters from very far off distances and heavily cropping their shots are using these smaller DX crop sensor cameras because there's more information per square millimeter, which is of utmost importance, even though they may have uh, less gain over a given shutter speed a period of time. So larger sensors do not gather more light. It does not work that way. Everything in photography is two things, gain and time. And gain is aperture and the photo sites, the pixel pitch that's on the sensor, whether that's improved efficiency or, uh, you know, inferior efficiency, you know, that's a matter for another discussion. Everything else is post-sensor signal processing and the AD converter and the SNR firmware. But that is not native gain, okay? Once the shot is taken, it's taken. Everything else is signal processing. So... This is incorrect statement, and it's, it's repeated endlessly, and I constantly encounter it, and people need to understand that, you know, larger sensors do not gather more light. Sensors are not like a picture window, okay? It doesn't work that way. Keeping things very, very simple, like I said, if you were to take a large sensor and cut out the exact same sensor and stick that in the camera, it would have the exact same exposure. 100% exactly the same because nothing has changed. The photo sites have not changed. Nothing has changed. The only thing that has changed is that it is a small piece of the exact same sensor, the full frame sensor. The D750, for example, or the D810, it doesn't matter what camera it is. So that does not change. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.